What's up, everybody? Welcome into the 24-7 Sports Channel, where we have another exciting announcement on tap for you this evening. George Turkson, a 2024 forward, one of the best defenders and rebounders in the national class, is set to announce his commitment. He's down to three finalists. He will be choosing between the home state UMass Minutemen, Northwestern, and Texas A&M. These are three programs that all three have not only recruited him hard, but also have ties to his, his local programs. Uh, and as I said, I think George is really unique because in a day and age where players typically play for stats and points, this is a guy who values winning, who's willing to, to do all the dirty work to stand out on the defensive end of the floor and, and on the glass. So without further ado, we are going to bring in George himself. George, Hi. welcome to the broadcast. Thank you, Adam. I'm glad. I'm happy to be here, man. Yeah, we are happy to have you here. George, as I said, and I know I told you this off camera, to me, you are uh, really rare because so many high school kids worry about who scores the most points, who takes the most shots, who has the most highlights. And you really get it, man. You really do. I mean, you, you play to win. You understand that that not everybody can score and you really stand out with your defense, with your rebounding and your willingness to do whatever it takes to win. So I just, I did want to commend you on that before we, before we got going here. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, let me ask you, you know, I always start by asking, you know, what has this process been like for you? But in, in your case, I really want to ask like, where did that maturity come from? You know, when, when so many kids are playing for stats and buckets and things like that, I mean, you you play to win. Where did you get that mindset at such an early age? Um, it's just I just always had it. Um, coming from a uh, a public school, playing JV my first years of high school, um, I I just I always had that that dog in me. People say, um, so I feel like um, coming from JV, not always being a, a varsity player. Um, wanting to win and um, striving towards um, doing the things that are winning, winning intangibles. Um, that's just something that I've always strived to have and um, do. Now, am I accurate in in my memory that you were a JV player when you first joined the Mass Rivals? I, I remember hearing about this kid who was only a JV player, but who they thought had significant potential. Am I right in that? Is that when you joined the Rivals? Yeah, most definitely, yeah. That's All right. right. So what has the last couple of years been like for you going from that high school JV player to someone who's been recruited all the way up to the highest levels of college basketball? Um, it's taken a lot. Um, countless days in the gym, um, three, four sessions in the gym, working out um, and just putting a lot of energy and time into bettering my craft and making sure I can live out this division one dream and, um, be ready. And, and I think it's also worth noting that you are also an exceptional student with a, a 4.0 in the classroom. So you're taking care of your academics at the highest level as well. Um, all right, George, we got three fan bases waiting to hear where you're going to play your college basketball. But before we get to that point, I want to give you a chance to thank anybody who has helped you get to this point, anybody who might be there with you tonight. Uh, first, of all, I just want to thank um, the colleges, um, UMass, uh, um, I thank Coach Kellogg, um, Coach Steele, um, Coach Frank Martin. I appreciate the connections there. Thanks, a and um, Buzz Williams, um, Coach Rock, uh, Coach Wolf, Beattie, um, and then Northwestern, Coach um, Taylor Battle, and Coach Chris Collins. I appreciate the connection they have there. And um, I just want to appreciate, uh, give thanks to God, keep me grounded in my faith, and uh, he's kept me it's got me standing and um, fighting for um, as long as I've been here. Um, and I'm, I'm just happy that he's got he's helped me um, stay steadfast in the hard work um, um, and the adversity that I've gone through. I want to thank my family. Um, they've always been there for me. They've always supported me. They've always been there at the end of the day um, to tell me that it's not the end of the world, whether it's win or lose or going through um, um, conflict or things like that so um and i want to thank everybody like i want to thank my friends um who've been there who challenged me to um be better um uh, who've helped me build my confidence i want to thank my coaches i want to thank um tom uh, and vin those guys have helped me realize my potential and what i could truly become and i and i think that i thank them more than they um more than i uh, um vocalize so 
I just thank them and everybody that's been a part of this journey. All right. Well, now the moment is here. You take your time with it. But where are you going to be playing your college basketball? So I would like to announce that I'll be committing to <laughs> Texas A&M. Oh, Go <laughs> Aggies. Yeah. Yeah. Go Aggies, indeed. All right, George Turkson becomes the third player in the class of 2024 to commit to Texas A&M, joining his mass rivals teammate, Andre Mills. So, George, what was it about Texas A&M that made you decide that was the place for you? Um, it just off the official visit, I felt um, I felt like I could go there. Um, the, the people there, um, the coaches, Buzz Williams, um, Coach Rock, Coach Wolf, BD, they um, they value the intangible and hard work that I bring to a team. Um, and that's something I really look for in a college. And um, they just they just made it um, made it known and vocalized that they really wanted me. And they, they seen me um, being able to come in and make a difference for their team. So um, that I'm just glad that um, I'm, I'm in this moment um, and uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I tell you what, Texas A&M fans are going to be glad you're in this moment as well. I, I really do believe you were going to be a fan favorite there because every fan loves the guy who plays hard no matter what, and that is exactly what you are. Um, you're a you're a, one of the best defensive players in the class, one of the best pound for pound rebounders in the class. But but I want to ask you for the Texas A&M fans who are watching here today, what would you tell them you're going to be bringing to College Station? Uh, first, you're gonna. Uh, I'll, I'll be you'll be seeing a lot of uh, good characteristics out of me. I'm a great kid, uh, good student, blue collar athlete, a kid that's going to work hard and um, help help Texas A&M continue its winning mentality and winning program. Well, George, I tell you what, uh, like I told you off camera, like I keep reiterating, it is very rare to see a young man play the game um, with the unselfishness you do uh, to put winning very literally ahead of everything else. So you do it the right way. You deserve this moment. I appreciate you sharing it here with us today. And I, I tell you what, Texas A&M fans are going to love watching you play because there's no, there's not many guys in the country who play harder than you do. All right. That is George Turkson fresh off that commitment to Texas A&M. As I said, the third prospect to commit to the Aggies in the class of 2024, jo joining his mass rivals teammate, Andre Mills, reuniting with another mass rival on the Texas A&M coaching staff would be Sabidi. If you heard him mention Beatty, that's who he was talking about. Formal ma former mass rivals point guard who played for Buzz Williams at Virginia Tech and has since joined the coaching staff at Texas A&M. Again, George Turkson, one of the most versatile front court defenders in the entire country. He's a strong and athletic six foot seven, but he has no problem guarding much bigger guys on the block. Se similarly, he can step to the perimeter and slide his feet laterally. He's very mobile. It makes him switchable in pick and roll situations and also versatile for teams who want to be, uh, who want to switch on the defensive end of the floor. Offensively, this is a guy who came up the ranks as mostly a catch and finish player, but has made tremendous strides over the course of the last year in his shooting mechanics and touch. Talked to him about that earlier today. He now looks like a player who's going to be able to pick and pop and stretch the floor. As he said, he's a blue collared athlete and he is every bit of that. Texas A&M fans, you got a special one coming your way. Thanks very much for watching us here tonight. For much more, be sure to visit 247sports.com.